Finding good followers in Shadow of War is quite hard. At least that goes for my perfectionist ass. I want them to look awesome and have good traits. But to find a combination of those two is actually pretty hard. However, this also makes it even cooler when you do find one. One way your follower, or nemesis value, can be increased is by having one or two epic traits. Epic traits are uncommon traits that appear in the bonuses subcategory. An Uruk or Ologai can have up to two epic traits. If he has one, he will be an epic captain, Warchief or Overlord, having two makes him legendary. In this video, we'll take a look at all the epic traits there are in Shadow of War. And we're starting with epic bombs, which allows the Uruk or Ologai to throw multiple bombs in rapid succession. Following that is Epic Karagor Rider. Similar to the Karagor Rider trait, it allows the user to ride any nearby Karagors and often starts battle on a dire Karagor instead of a normal one. Epic Cursed Bombs throws multiple Cursed Bombs rapidly, similar to the Epic Bombs trait. Epic Decoys make the Uruk or Ologai appear with a group of elite crunts that look exactly like him. It will make tracking the real target way harder. Following that is Epic Determination. Heals himself completely during battle through exceptional willpower, which can be interrupted. Next is Epic Rage, which allows the target to stay enraged for longer periods of time. Epic Smoke Bomb allows the user to deploy a more powerful smoke bomb or multiple smoke bombs that stuns the enemy and eludes them. Epic Throwing Knives, which I'm pretty sure is an assassin only trait, allows the user to throw an arc of multiple knives at all foes in front of him. Following that is the Epic Trapper. This allows the user to throw out multiple traps to ensnare enemies, making them vulnerable to range. This is different from the regular Trapper trait in that there are more. Epic trait Cursed Master increases all curse damage received by himself and by his allies. Epic trait Curse Warder decreases all curse damage received by himself and by his allies. Those two usually come in pairs. Epic trait Fanatical Gang leads a gang that becomes enraged if your follower or your nemesis is attacked. Epic trait Fire Master, similar to the Curse Master, as since it increases all fire damage dealt by himself and his allies. And the Epic trait Fire Warder does the same thing as the Curse Warder, except with fire damage. Next is the Epic trait Gang of Elite Archers, Defenders, Hunters, Olog, Savages, and Warriors, of course. And these allow the user to lead a group of highly skilled Archers, Defenders, Hunters, Olog, Savages, and Warriors. Next on the list is Epic Trait Graukal, which actually lets your follower or your nemesis summon a Grauk to fight alongside him, which is pretty epic. Next one is pretty cool as well, the Epic Trait Great Strength, making their attacks deal way more damage, which is always a good trait, of course. Next is Epic Trait Mighty Archers, Defenders, Hunters, Olog, Savages and Warriors. Similar to the other trait, goes for all the basic classes and inspires the allied archers all the way through warriors to deal extra damage and take less damage. Next is the epic trait Poison Master, which increases all poison damage received by himself and by his allies. And of course, where there's Poison Master, you have a Poison Warder, which decreases all damage received by himself and by his allies. Now we're nearly at the end of the list with three more to go. The epic trait Slayer Counter is similar to the regular Slayer Counter, but it differs slightly. He responds to execution attacks from the front with an unblockable counter attack, which you'll have to dodge. The epic trait Tick Skint is next and it increases the health of your follower or nemesis greatly, which is ideal for tanks. Finally, we have the epic trait Quickshot, which allows the user, always an archer of course, to shoot multiple targets at once. And these are all the epic traits that we know of, and we've been gathering them for a while. So there might be more, but we haven't found them so far. If you found any, let us know in the comment section down below. And besides that, let us know what your favorite is. 
or our favorite two since you can always select two on a captain essentially. I would like to have a warmonger tank with great strength and thick skinned or something like epic determination would be good as well to just make him as tanky as possible. If besides this you have uh, any questions let us know in the comment section down below. Constructive feedback on the video, art style, commentary and content is always welcome and highly encouraged. Anyways, thank you for watching, consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye bye and peace out.